Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. Today, we're going to look at some more old product labels that I rescued from my mom's basement. It's dinner time, so let's start with an appetizer. How about some soup? My favorite soup was the freeze-dried soup product, Soup Starter. I actually have a video from 1989 of me eating it, and I'm loving it. This is all flat. Soup Starter is very good. I haven't had any for a long time, but I must say it's very good. Uh, and good for you. The same company also made Stew Starter, which I really don't remember eating. As a young kid in the 70s, I would look forward to eating Zoop Man Giggle Noodle Soup. It was a Lipton product, and the noodles were shaped like stars. I guess that Zoop Man's fashion style is a cross between Johnny Appleseed and Elton John. Lipton also sold the instant product, Light Lunch in a Mug. The name of this product leaves little to the imagination. From Nestle, we have Simmer Soup Mix, and Soup Time, the 10-second soup. And an honorable mention goes to Libby's pound and a half can of beef stew. Let's move on to the main course. In the 80s, my family ate a lot of chicken. I have a video from 1986 of me complaining about the frozen chicken we were having for dinner, and my dad trying to reassure me. I don't like them. I don't, I don't think I like them. Here we have a label from the obscure chicken company Frosty Acres. Dutch Fry was a product by the Weaver Company. It was just thighs and drumsticks. For those who liked their stick-shaped breaded chicken patties, they made chicken sticks. You could count on somewhere between 12 to 13 pieces. Tyson was another well-known supplier of chicken products. Let's take a look at their Chicken Quick line. You could get chicken chunks, chicken hoagies, or the ever-popular Chicken Sticks. Twelve new and improved sticks. Any chicken consumer in the 70s will surely remember dining on the ten fully cooked pieces of banquet heat and serve fried chicken. What's that? You don't like chicken? Well then, how about some Bresto Chicken Chunk Light Tuna? This product name seems like false advertising somehow. One of the worst things that I had the displeasure of eating in the 80s were these Freezer Queen Meat in a Bag products. The worst one by far was the Salisbury Steak. I immortalized it on the cover of my 1989 album, Does Anyone Want This? I'm holding it up on my fork. Freezer Queen went out of business in 2004. It seems that one of their processing plants failed a government safety inspection. Well, we still need a side dish, so let's go with that old standby, canned vegetables. Of course, you can still buy Libby's vegetables today, but you won't be seeing any of these old retro label designs on any of the store shelves you might visit. Likewise with Del Monte. Something about seeing these labels just takes me right back to my mom's kitchen as a kid, pulling all of her canned goods out of her cabinet to stack up into a pyramid. But most of the vegetables that we bought were from the Stokely Company. Stokely sold just about every kind of canned vegetable you could imagine, some in different variations, and many different types of canned fruits as well, and their labels were very colorful. When I was young, Stokely had an offer to send in 100 Stokely can labels, and in return, you would get a red wagon. This was no cheap wagon. It was a durable metal wagon, and we used it for years in our home movies. Interestingly, Stokely was the first company to sell the product Gatorade, a drink that is now a Pepsi product. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the old product labels today. If you did, don't forget to click the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.